Oh my god! Where won't you go in there? Just go in the fucking hole! Go in the hole! Go in the hole! Get in the hole! Get in the hole! Okay. Okay. So. Look. Be calm. Be cool. Be collected. Let's just match this up with the hole. Maybe. Does it have to be this way? Maybe it has to be this way. It's got to go in there somehow. It has to. It just has to. Maybe if I go around to the other side. Nope. Nope. Definitely nothing on the other side. Okay. Let's rotate this sucker. Maybe if I put it in this way. Let's try to put it in this way. Why, why are you doing this to me, game? Come on, come on. Oh. Really? Really? Crank up that radiator. Okay, now what? Okay. Crank it up again. Get cranking that sucker till it. God damn it! My mouse keeps screwing up on me. So, maybe it's out of gas. He did say something about the gas. Hey, look, gas! I don't know how he's holding that through the window, but... <laughs> okay, let's... Put this like that. Freaks me out when the music just kind of cuts off. Oh! Do, 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 just get me some... Petrol fuel. Whoa. Um, am I being chased by something? Come on. Let's uh let's just get this going. So that I can get the crap out of here. Come on now. You know you wanna. You know you wanna do it. Don't don't be like that. Get up on the get up on the box. Don't be don't be playing games. Why can't you get up on the box? Where'd that go? Shit. Stay up there. We, we. Now I'm gonna run my ass over here. There we go. Let's crank this sucker. Really? I needed to move it literally two inches? Game? Why are you doing this, this way, to me, Papa? game? Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? 
I... Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Where are you? Can't see anything. Going to this creepy ass church. Livestock and Bibles. Higeldy. Higgledy Pickledy. Blue China Eyes. My love comes to me in the fi fairest disguise. We skips and we totters. I seize her hind trotters and enter her porcelain thighs. That's. Disturbing as shit. Alright, anybody who's a fan of horror movies knows that the churches is where the bad things always happen, so. I have a sneaking suspicion that Nothing good's gonna come of this. Go ahead and close those off. November 23rd, 1899. Twin candles bent to the wall of the central saint, casting their light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret. But he is like all the others, so the old priest has gone to the holding pins with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd, indeed. Hmm. Talks about candles and a saint. Let's check our journal. We haven't done that in a while. Oh my god. Really? I have so many of these. A curious discovery. Metal ticking as it cools and contrasts. This must be the strange machine my new friend told me of. If my children discovered this place, it is entirely conceivable they stayed downstairs. Strayed downstairs. Downwards. Blech. Delighted to their discovery. Very well. It seems my route is predestined. The descent begins. Trapped. Was it a trick? The voice on the phone? Who seems so close to my own? Unintentional rhyming? Who seems to know me so well? Does he lead me for a nefarious purpose? of his own secret devising. But do I have a choice? Even though his motives are unknown to me, I must find my boys. I will follow the machinery down to the very core of the earth if it will lead me to Edwin and Enoch. Saboteur has been this way. Intriguing. The gates are far too heavy for a man to lift and are instead hoisted aloft by a chain coiled about a tube that, perhaps, that appears to be spun by motors connected to these electrical switches. Whilst the fuse is blown, the motor cannot be spun, and the gates will remain an impenetrable barrier to progress. Barrel contraption. These barrels must be dropped by a mechanism somewhere in the complex. No complex mechanisms here. But I think. More a case of finding the winch. That they have been raised to prevent access only fires my curiosity further. What he cannot break, our saboteur apparently seeks to hide. More electrical sabotage. Another confounded fuse box. The fellow is thorough in his sabotage, if somewhat repetitive. The stench from these barrels is quite discomforting. I would certainly hope that whatever chemistry this room is des designed to store is not a defining feature of the flood that threatens my children. The path is clear. It seems this chemical process is merely one part of a much larger complex. No easy route for me, then. I will follow my fever. He calls of my children wherever they may lead me as I move further into this strange empire. Factory offices. All the suggestions of a large work face, yet no actual signs of life. It is even... It is every bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when extremely close... when examined closely, 
is clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the unease that pits my stomach, and continue in my path. The pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrated at Mr. Yarham and Mr. Simmons' works, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum. Petroleum. Petroleum? Or petroleum. Oh my god, I'm retarded. <laughs> Sorry. Of that, I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine might must be a significant... Must be significant in some way. <laughs> Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of the factory, given the locked doors around the fueling station. The truck blocks my way, however, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternative entrance. A strange container. This canister looks as if it might f fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. Hmm, I probably could have used this a minute ago. It certainly carries the same fetid, unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in, the ca in its cage. I will not gaze again into the dark machine room. A more immediate task presents itself, and the opportunity perhaps to gain access to St. Dunstan's. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto hall hallowed ground. Yeah, that's what you think. We sat here, I remember. We sat in our black and we mourned and we prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then, how I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robs me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new god for us all. Such madness, such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remind, remained with me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the fl flags, and I know my path awaits me. Alright, so his wife died and became angry with God, and... I guess that's kind of his whole reasoning behind the creation of the machine. That wasn't there a minute ago. Freaking out again. Okay. Father Jeremiah's journal, October 1st, 1899. They flock to us now, where, one, where once I had to walk amongst them to bring salvation into their lives, now drawn by warmth in winter, by the food that man just distributes. My church is full, and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them, and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories claiming that his workforce are specifically, excuse me, specially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay, unethical, to risk such, such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico. It is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of his sickbed, as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not content with the rise to become the dominant food producer, business, and land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares, to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. So, he's a food producer? I guess is that why the pigs and all that? Huh. Plot 
thickening and so forth. Check my journal. It's the same one, okay. What the shit?